to go grab my sister. Yo, guys, I saw red. Whether I became Superman or Spider-Man or Batman, all I knew, all I know is that I flew. I flew with a slap of the century. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Noah Zindombela, also known as Gwazibe. On all social media platforms, do subscribe, be a part of this family. And if you're returning, sadly, welcome back, darling. Guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing a story time. I thought we should close off in Vlogtober with a story time because hello, like hello. <laughs> Anyway, we're here for with the story time. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get right into the story. Kalilan, I'm and Tomazani hate each other. Women, we hate each other. There's no way. And I don't know why. Anyway, here's a story time. It is many years ago. I'm staying with my sister in Centurion. And she was dating this guy who was staying at Higuin durban right so this guy is like no we're coming over with my friends to joburg it's like a boys holiday or boys trip or boys weekend away kind of vibe so i'm coming up to joburg and my sister's like oh okay cool he calls us um i think it was a friday if i'm not mistaken and he's like ah guys we're in joburg come over this is where we're at he sends the location we can see okay it is sent in that time it was like in the afternoon around three-ish guys so you know how girls when we get ready we take oh Forever. so we get ready we take forever and it's eventually like later on in the day itilaba drive to santon we get to this place it is beautiful the house is beautiful the garden is beautiful we drive into the gate they open the gate for us we drive into the gate you drive up this long 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 driveway and then when you get to the top the house is there and there's like two cars parked outside so we park next to these two cars Oh, guy comes out my sister's boyfriend comes out to meet us outside we greet him we hug him how how are you guys doing are we good you guys have taken forever and we're like yeah we as an hour we had to like yeah we'll prepare ourselves and stuff i shall we get into this house ne? when we get into this house the house guys is gorgeous now i'm not sure whether the house belonged to one of the guys that were there with them or whether it was a bnb but the house was beautiful i sing in when we walk into the house we don't sit in the living room that is downstairs we walk upstairs and upstairs there's like an entertainment room shop we get into this entertainment room and let me just explain what this room looks like when you walk into this room, on the left, by the corner, there's a bar. Now, every single type of alcohol that you can imagine is there. Your whiskeys, your bubbles, your vodkas, your gins, your ciders, your beers, everything is there. Water, amadesh, young kingdom is there at this bar. When you walk in, on the left, sharp, there's a bar. And then there's like... Um, three-seater couch on this side on the right and another three-seater couch on the left and then there's a um a coffee table a glass coffee table in the middle and a, and um what's this an occasional chair um on the side sharp when we get there we see there's a guy by the bar there's two girls on this three-seater couch there's a guy on this couch this uh, a, a guy and a girl on this couch and these other girls standing here and another guy standing there so plus minus about nine people about five guys and four girls when we walk in there we greet them hi we introduce ourselves and obviously because of the way that everyone was sitting me and my sister couldn't sit next to each other so so shut up so she sat on the couch on the left and i sat on the couch on the right where i'm sitting i'm sitting next to a guy and a girl so i'm in the middle in this three-seater couch and on that couch there's two girls and my sister sits like on the end but then the boyfriend is like no come sit on my lap let me sit and you sit on my lap and my sister's like okay cool so the whole night we basically they were 
sitting on each other's laps la paya <laughs> sharp with a guy by the bar is like ladies what are you drinking he offers us drinks he's like are you having bubbles are you having whiskey are you having this are we having that and i think i think we had gin i don't remember i think we had gin though i he pours us a gin as they share the guys and you know i'm into mazana the way is in a con girls are just a snacks when we walked in although the girls did greet us they did greet i won't even lie they did but we are now there's like and guys i love that like i like it when i walk into the room and i make you look i like it when i walk into the room and i make you by your friend even if i'm not coming to join your table even if i'm just walking by but the fact that you looked at me and you decided to start a conversation i love that i love it so much so me and my sister did notice that when we walked in the girls looked at us a bit snacks and you know but we're not here for them we're here for a boyfriend basically because we don't know any of the other guys either Shapo, we get drinks, Gwim Nandi, conversations start flowing. I start talking to the guy that's sitting next to me. We're having conversations. We join in on their conversations. It's their pools. And you know, guys, eh, things start to. <laughs> when you start getting warm, the voices start getting louder. People start getting sloppy. The walks start getting diggy diggy kind of thing okay so that's what happens like later on towards like later on in the night sharp my sister starts getting a bit tipsy and she starts spilling her drink and stuff but in spilling her drink she wasn't really like spilling it on anyone next to her like the girls or anything like that she was just like spilling on the floor or maybe on her boyfriend's shoe or whatever so this was happening like i think it happened like twice right because she was getting drunk but the boyfriend didn't mind like he understood all oh, my baby's getting drunk you know and even the friends were on some and like we were making it a joke i didn't think that it affected anyone at that time i think my sister it was the th about the third time that she spilled her drink on her boyfriend and this time like she spilled on her on his pants the girl next to them is on some it's like the third time um tell and me sitting on the opposite couch i look at her and in my mind and i didn't say it out loud but my sister i she didn't think the thoughts that i thought she said it child she just said it <laughs> When the lady says this, my sister's like, yeah, I'm going to was three and manje when we sang an app kind of thing with this attitude. Ne? Obviously, I'm going to see that. And then the girl is like, commotion. And one thing about me, when a fight is about to break loose, I can see it coming from miles away. So I could already see it was like, because first of all, the guy is not complaining. The owner of the house, if there's the owner of the house, is not complaining. Of which I think the guy that was pouring the drinks was the owner of the house. Because the way, the way, the way, Okay, as you know, I will see Adam tell it's like annoying and what, 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 what. So, relationship between the two of them, mind you, my sister's sitting on the boyfriend's lap and the girl is sitting next to them. I they start throwing words at each other, throwing words at each other. Whilst the throwing words is happening, I mean, I'm just sitting, I'm still with my drink in my hand and I'm just looking at this commotion. Eh? Whilst the, the, the words, the exchange of words is going on. The girl, I think, threw hands. She threw hands because I don't know what happened, but those hands landed on my sister's face. <laughs> Sharp with the hand lands on my sister's face, and my sister is like, Ini, yena amana penduke with a slap of the century. At twa, okay. Next thing, she gives her drink to the boyfriend and she grabs the girl by the hair. She starts beating the girl. I know Kelly Naya, I baby lay pants. I know Kelly, yeah, shy. I, my sister's grabbing the hair. She's here we am shy. I end up by your class. And then he said, I'm cool. 
And the reason why I'm cool is because I'm going to my sister's got this. I was on trial, you very low. So I buy a shy and a boyfriend because I'm a cool again. I get no, no, bro, no, that was by the bar. And I was a mukuza, no, okay, but I'm a cool. And the whole time I was just relaxed. The one thing that made me move is I saw the one friend moving from from behind her friend that she was grabbing to go grab my sister. You guys, I saw red. When I see red, Ganjalo Kaizini, I'm just like, where the hell is she going? What does she think she's doing? I jumped from where I was sitting. I don't know where I put my glass, first of all. And I don't know whether I became Superman or Spider-Man or Batman. All I knew, all I know is that I flew. I flew <laughs> for that girl. I don't know whether I stepped on the table and then jumped, but the impact of which I landed on her with, I'm sure I jumped on the table and I jumped. I flew to the girl. Me and her fell onto the couch. Messi Waganja, we couch. Now I'm on top of her. Messi we couch, I'm on top of her. My one knee is on the couch and my other leg is like on top of her. And then I get my balance. I grab her. Gimbambe so. Gimbambe so. Gimbambe so. And when I flew, guys, honestly, when I jumped over to this girl, my intention was not to hit her. My intention was just to stop her from attacking my sister. Because your friend is hitting my sister already. My sister is hitting your friend. Why is it that you want to grab my sister? What are you grabbing my sister for? Why don't you grab your friend? So when I landed on her, I landed and I grabbed her by the t-shirt and I started shaking her. Yes? That time it gets into went on, went on. In the midst of all that, I'm not even paying attention as to what's happening now behind me. Because now my sister and the girl that's fighting are now fighting behind us. Because me and the girl have fallen onto the couch that they were sitting on. Well, guys, I don't know what happened, but I just saw a hand coming here. <laughs> Mind you, I'm small. Me and I'm in Bavel. I'm very small, but back then I was even smaller. I just felt a hand grabbing me from like this, and I was lifted by this hand. Make it in your check. I'm just, I'm fighting now. Make it in check. Go to Bando. It's the guy that was sitting next to me on the at the couch, which is opposite the one that we're at now. I the fight he get it can it can it can it break it out if I so they eventually just separate us and everything. Now my sister's boyfriend is holding my sister. This guy that I was talking to now, we couch is holding me. And Bona, we rau rau manjeli. Uno msin, ma girls di lawa they shouting. Let's try up, let's see fabulous, let's try up, let's see fabulous. Bona, the guys eventually are just like, yes, Otini, you guys, I think you guys should leave. In 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 in. So the guy that was by the bar, which I think was the owner of the place, walks these girls out. The guy and the guy that was sitting on the occasional chair walk these girls out. I remember my walker out. Laba is still nabola. These three guys, but I love at the spaboni level. Who's about no musu musu? Like I was asking my friends, who's about to have lamento mazani kanja kanja. So it shows who they had issues with these girls before we arrived. So now that we arrived, the issues just escalated. <laughs> These two guys that walk the girls out, and then the guy is like, <laughs> the guy that pulled me is like, Manja, when you champion in Pesgueta for Lugio Land and gets me a little angas and was in the champion, a little daffle, and no man around you, no man give me a Pesguad, Oxalayo. I just saw her going for my sister, and I was like, There's no way, Basum Sangane, Lababo, too. There is no way. That is never gonna happen. Not in my presence. So. <laughs> we hear bottles breaking downstairs. Guys, as long as it's jump because now I'm like shit immortal. In front of the cars that are parked there. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And then the girl that my sister was beating up, like a broken bottle, and she's busy calling my sister. And so me and my sister are like, no, bega panty bottlela uze. Bega panty bottlela and come. Put it on the floor. Why you long am I bottling? More sweet and be the walls like walls. 
hey, okay, li, bawa ko sila mato that, but they bawa keep it outside the gate. So they send them outside the gate, and we're just like, these girls are crazy. And the guys are like, no, guys, stop fighting with these girls. We are born and mato mazan always caught here. Like, don't fight with them. In, 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 in. Yo, guys, the drama. We didn't enjoy the night after that. Like, because we were so angry. We were so, so angry at these girls. But I guess we were yelling apart, and we didn't spend much time after that inside. But in jay, it drama, you mato mazan as a sense the drama of the girls from Santon. Aibu. So like we ended up fighting Higa na lo manto mazani kanja lo ge kaizi singa kondile singa zna no gutigli wakbangwan because in all honesty what was the fight about? What was it about? It's not like Mrs. Wamwa tell her the girl. No, what tell her boyfriend Jack? Why we so so cruel again? Shooting Jay, we are born to see the trouble. Vele, it's why you go and we are born to see the trouble. And we figure Jay, we wrong ten. Like we wrong ten. Like why is it that women can't just get along? If you see a pretty girl, child, why are you trying to fight her? Like, hello, kubangwan, kubangwani. I was so confused, guys. But anyway. Moral behind the story is that we fought with girls in Sansan. I don't fight anymore. I don't. Like, I really choose not to fight anymore. But it's a lot of people who are in Sansan. It's a lot of people who are in we should ha stop hating each other as Amanda Mazani, guys. I mean, figure Ibum Nandini and girls join your section. There's no need for you to be mean to them. Even now, it's Amanda Mazani because at the end of the day, Ubangwan, Yine Bangwai, Yine Esi Bangin. Mo, Utsige Umfana again that you were interested in now shows interest in this girl. Guys, like, it's not that deep. It is not that deep. Anyway, that is my story time. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.